वर्णिवे शर्मणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराद्नाबुज पूजित सुरनरो तमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमह विचित बोलो श्री स्वामी नारायण भगवान नी जय श्री हरि कृष्ण महाराज नी जय श्री घनश्याम महाराज नी जय श्री ठाकुर जी महाराज नी जय श्री सदगुरु देव नी जय और बिलवड भगवान स्वामी नारायण पात्र में कठोर लिबरेशन पूज्य पात गुरु जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डिज जय स्वामी नारायण आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई थिंक थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज और मोर देन दैट हैव पास्ट आफ्टर द कोविड नाइन्टीन पेंडेमिक and finally after a year the scientists successfully launched the vaccine for the covid and many in this country and in the world many people have got their vaccine to protect themselves from the very dangerous virus covid 19 and during this period of time we all knew something about covid how it works in the body and how the people get in contact with the covid how they get covid virus inside their body in this way we learn too much things about the covid and we all have tried as much as we can like to remain safe and for that we follow the rules to keep distance meaning social distancing wear a mask and much more things like wash hands many times use the sanitizer in this way we have followed the cdc guidelines etc to remain safe the schools and colleges they have also stopped their work in the like physical presence in the schools and colleges and they also begin their teaching process online so that the kids and so that the the people remain safe in their home now this is what the worldly situation for which we all need to change everything what we are we were doing before that the way we are getting education the way we are getting some things meaning anything from the stores uh we have changed even our behave uh, uh, even our nature to go around we have changed many things meaning we have changed in our lifestyle even the great politi- politicians of the entire world they have changed their protocol by shaking hand and instead of that they have implemented the indian style of shaking hand meaning indian style of greeting others like while folding their hands say namaste so in this way many things we learn from the covid 19 now we should also apply the same thing in the satsang just as we are remain very alert very cautious not to get involved in the covid 19 cases as the number of cases increase day by day so in the same way we have to be cautious in the satsang just as we are living in the satsang we have also the dangerous virus in the form of kusang so we should be alert we should always be cautious from the kusang just as 
covid uh, covid virus enter our body in different ways like touching any place or any person not wearing mask meaning by air when we inhale in this way it spread in different ways in the same way kusang is also spread in different ways now after uh even after keeping more cautions and more alertness and everything still some people get involved uh get engaged and uh in the covid-19 and they get the uh medication and other things but still without vaccine or without proper medication they have to lose their lives but in satsang in the previous time in the time of bhagwan swami and as well as then after also many people who came in contact with the kusang that's the dangerous virus for our spiritual health so they all if not get the uh, if not got the proper medication at a time so they lost their lives in the satsang meaning they fell down from the satsang fellowship today through this analogy of the vaccine and covid-19 we try to understand we try to learn something how we can remain safe and how our spiritual health increase day by day or we remain happy forever in the satsang through the presentation we start our topic today's vaccine for spiritual health nowadays people are uh some people are waiting for their getting a payment for taking a vaccine some older people they have got already their uh, dose of vaccines why people have the curiosity as well as they have like eagerness to get vaccine as early as possible in the same way we have to be cautious we have to uh we have to understand the same important to getting vaccine in the satsang so first of all we should understand what is covid in physical life we know about that covid but in satsang what is the covid what is such kind of dangerous virus if we came in contact with those virus and if we did not if we will not get vaccine at a time then we will definitely last our life in the satsang so for that we should take into the next slide okay to how to protect yourself from virus we know to be remain uh, far from the covid we uh, we have followed the covid 19 guidelines uh provided by the government agencies like always keep a distance at least 6 feet or 3 feet whatever you believe in then uh, always wear a mask wash your hands frequently and sneeze and cough in the crook or your arm um do not shake hands keep your hands away from your face in this way we have follow cautiously this precaution but in satsang sometimes even though we have listened many times during the kathas even though we have read from the scriptures like vachanamrut swami nivato and the other books even though we are personally uh provided some information like we should be alert from this kind of kusang and still we are not too much cautious to follow those instruction given by bhagwan and sadgurus and santos and because of that just as by uh, not following the covid-19 guidelines many people came in contact with this virus and lost their lives in the same way if we will not be remain cautious to follow such some rules 
then we will also come into contact with the kusang and because of the kusang we definitely will fall from this satsang fellowship and if we do not want to fall from this satsang fellowship we have to be cautious we have to follow its rules and regulations and all uh, be before doing all these things we have to take a vaccine so that we will remain happy and healthy in entire life in this satsang next please just as we have seen in previous slide uh we have to be cautious to follow cdc guideline for the covid in the same way to remain safe from the kusang and remain healthy in the satsang we have to be cautious like whatever things which is not mean for our we should not watch those things we should not listen such kind of talks we should not even speak those words and such talks which is not fit as a duty of god now if you get infected take a vaccine and moreover i would like to say if you 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 are if you don't get infected still take a vaccine because you have a chance if not today in the future you will get infected and to and for uh, for the precaution we have to take the vaccine in the satsang satsang vaccine is different from those covid-19 vaccines because the covid-19 vaccine is not given to the person who are infected covid-19 vaccine is not to given to the person who is in, uh, already infected by the virus but in the satsang there is no rules for taking the vaccine you can get you can take at any time this vaccine whether you are infected or not that doesn't matter and in satsang we have this vaccine is nothing but a katha varta and without taking this vaccine we cannot do any like notable progress in the satsang if we want to grasp some virtues in our life we must be addicted to listening katha varthas in the vachanamrut bhagwan swami and himself says those uh, if anyone is not interested in listening katha varta then we should predict for that person like he will not get uh, any good virtues in his life this sentence spoken by sri jimaraj himself in the vachanamrut gurra last 24 chapter so according to this words of bhagwan we have to be cautious to listen katha varta we have to be addicted to listening katha varta bhagwan swami himself used the word addiction especially for this katha varta just as think in the world the people who are addicted with the drugs who are addicted to drink liquor or wine those who are addicted with any other things like drinking some special drinks or something and they cannot remain without that things whether they eat table whether it is uh, it may be a smoking or whether it is maybe a drinkable thing or whatever but they are not remain without that things in the same way if we are addicted to the katha varta then we will not remain without listening katha varta so this is what sri jima raj himself wanted to do this in the satsang if we want to get vaccinated in the satsang and moreover some vaccines were given and i am talking about the physical world some vaccines are given when the person uh, the vaccines are given to uh, in the very young age in the same way these vaccines in the satsang like in the form of katha varta we should take from the beginning 
if we have taken this vaccine then no kind of virus affect our body because our body get the uh, more immune strength more powerful immunity due to these vaccines next please now we will see how vaccine works because in our in our life in i'm talking about physical life uh, if we take vaccines something happen infected over 3 million people and taken over 200,000 lives by the end of April 2020. Vaccines offer a solution to this problem. To understand how vaccines work, it is necessary to first look at how the body naturally fights illness. Humans live in a world heavily populated with disease-causing microbes and toxins. The immune system has evolved to defend the body against these foreign or dangerous invaders. To defend the body against infection, the immune system must be able to distinguish between what naturally belongs in the body and what does not. Antigens are any substances that the immune system can recognize as foreign and that can stimulate an immune response. The immune response is activated if the body encounters an antigen that is perceived as dangerous. When germs invade the body, they attack the body and multiply. This invasion is what causes illness. The body's immune system uses several tools to fight these infections. These mechanisms are the immune response, and they include 1. Recognizing a potentially harmful foreign antigen. 2. Activating and mobilizing forces to defend against it. 3. Attacking and destroying the invader. And 4. Stationing sentinels, called memory cells, that remain ready for action. There are several components of the immune system involved in this immune response. These include white blood cells, such as B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, and macrophages, as well as antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that are produced by the B lymphocytes that tightly bind to the antigen of an invader, tagging it for attack. Each antibody is specific to a given antigen. B lymphocytes are responsible for recognizing the invading antigens and producing antibodies that attach to the invading pathogens, identifying them for the T lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes are killer or cytotoxic cells that attach to invading cells to attack and destroy them. Macrophages are large cells that ingest and eliminate dead and dying pathogens after they have been destroyed by the cytotoxic cells. Even after the invaders have been eliminated, the body keeps a few T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes as memory cells that go into action quickly if the same invader is encountered again. This is called acquired immunity. The immune system is an efficient system protecting us from a host of illnesses we have encountered and overcome in the past. Unfortunately, the first time the body faces an invasion, it can take several days to ramp up this antibody response. For lethal antigens like Ebola or influenza, a few days can be too long. The infection can spread and kill the person before the immune system can fight back. Vaccines offer a solution to this problem. They help to develop immunity without the body having to first survive an illness. These vaccines are made from weakened or killed germs that are introduced into the body before the actual germ has been encountered. These crippled germs help to develop immunity by imitating an infection and stimulating the body to produce antibodies and memory cells. These cells stay in the body and remember how to fight the infection in the future. If the body is invaded by these germs, the immune system will spring into action to destroy the invaders before the disease can become established. How long we have seen how vaccine works? It increases our immune system and because of that, immunity system can able to fight with the virus. In the same way, by listening the Kathavartas, we get more powerful immune system from within in the satsang. And because of that powerful immune system in the satsang, we can, meaning our body, our inside, our heart, our mind, is able to fight with the kusang, which come from outside in the form of words, in the form of some 
talks, meaning in the form of bad company, in this way. And that is why the Katharta is must. Katharta is most important in the satsang. And without listening Katharta, without becoming addicted to listening Katharta, if we remain in the satsang, then we'll not share for our future in the satsang. Why? Because at any time, any kind of virus in the form of kushan enter our body, meaning enter our mind, and that will wash up our satsang. What we learn from the satsang? Immediately washed away by the kusang. That is what the kusang's impact. Its impact is very dangerous. Even sometimes the kusang's impact is more powerful than the satsang. Why? Because we are not listening Kathavartha. We are not becoming addicted to listening Kathavartha. If we are addicted to listening Kathavartha, then definitely kusang will not harm us. Meaning, kusang and kusangis, they remain far from ourselves. That is the power of listening Kathavartha. Because listening Kathavartha repeatedly, meaning regularly, our body gets more powerful immune system. And because of that, meaning Im immune system, meaning in the satsang, we will get more strength. And due to that strength, even kusang and kusangis, then they will not try to even come near to us. And because of that, we remain safe in the satsang and remain happy and remain elated forever. Once upon a time, let me see how satsang vaccine works. Once upon a time, Muktanand Swami and some other santos, they were traveling in different parts of the country for spreading the satsang, according to Sri Maharaj Agnya. Once, Swami and the group of his sadhus, they were in the Charutar region, in the Gujarat, meaning uh, they were in uh, surrounding areas of the Vartal. Swami and the group of his santos, they were in the Nadiyad. There, they stay for several days. The devotees every day came there for listening Kathavarta from Muktanand Swami. And Muktanand Swami, his nature was such, even Gunatitanand Swami nodded in his talk in Swami Nivato, like when Muktanand Swami discourses in the Sabha, then even 2,000 people sit here in the assembly and everyone has different questions, different doubts in their mind, different questions they have in their mind. And Swami discourses for one or one and a half hour, then everyone's question, everyone's doubt would be solved automatically without being asked a question and without being given an answer. Merely by listening Swami's katha for one hour or one and a half hour, they all have satisfied. So this is what the power of Muktanand Swami's katha vartha. So Muktanand Swami was discoursing in the Nadiyad and the devotees, they were every day came specially for listening Swami's katha. After staying there for several days, once upon a time, Muktanand Swami and Santos, they were seated in their Uttara, meaning their uh, residence. At that time, some devotees came there. And they, while folding their hands, they sit in, uh, they seated in the front of Swami. And they asked, Swami, we have one question in our mind. From the day you came here, we have one question. But we did not, uh, we did not dare to ask you. So now, today, we came here specially to ask you one question. If you allow us, then we will ask. Then Muktanand Swami said, don't worry. Don't be afraid of anything. Please ask me. Then the devotees, while folding their hands, they asked Swami, Swami, we can easily understand your discourses, but we cannot comprehend Maharaj's talks easily. Then uh, Muktanand Swami said, I do not understand anything. Can you please uh, explain in detail? Then the devotees, they explain Swami. Swami, 
you came here before several months ago uh sri ji maharaj himself come here and stay here and we have listened the discourses delivered by sri ji maharaj himself we very well know about the fact that he is the supreme lord of lords we understood we believed by our heart like he is the supreme god and there is no no one besides him who is considered as bhagwan but still we cannot comprehend his talks but after that incident now we have a chance to listen your discourses so now we experience like uh whatever you says in the in in your discourses we easily understand it and even though maharaj sri ji maharaj also narrated in very uh like common language in very like uh, he also uses very frequent uh frequent use examples and like very day to day life incidents still we cannot understand we cannot comprehend his discourses but we understand yours why is this happen so maharaj is bhagwan and you're merely his son then why this happen at the time muktanand swami only understand and he just give a smile and after some time he gave reply bhakto actually i am staying with maharaj from last 40 years but still even i do not able to comprehend fully whatever maharaj speaks meaning no one in this world who can understand fully what bhagwan swami and says so how can i understand fully and if i cannot fully understand then how you can understand but this is uh, only the humbleness of muktanand swami otherwise muktanand swami is fully understand whatever sri ji maharaj has said whatever he wanted to say even even muktanand swami understand sri maharaj gaze even muktanand swami has an ability to read sri ji maharaj eyes and even sri ji maharaj heart otherwise it is not possible uh, that sri ji maharaj himself uh, says many times in the vachanamrut and the other scriptures also says the same thing like muktanand swami uh, maharaj has a great affection for muktanand swami maharaj himself says in the vachanamrut and even maharaj says we, uh, i have decided with muktanand swami when you get me the darshan of ramanand swami then we will go to the jungle and will uh, perform their austerities and will stay there together and performing uh bhajan and bhakti for bhagwan this is what commitment of maharaj with muktanand swami so how is this possible so in this incident in nadiyad muktanand swami only shows his humbleness in front of maharaj because he is merely a sevak and maharaj is a swami meaning maharaj is the master of all this is what muktanand swami wanted to show and in actual sense Gunatitan Swami has revealed the fact about this understanding meaning understanding Swami's vato and not understanding Sri Ji Maharaj's vato Gunatitan Swami has said for that next Gunatitan Swami has said in his vato like as one listen to the spiritual talks of the great sadhu once inner faculties are purified and as once inner faculties are purified the talks are understood and one experiences happiness this is what how the vaccine works meaning we consider the katha varta as a vaccine in the spiritual world meaning our spiritual body so this vaccine in the form of katha varta how it works inside when this katha varta we listen katha varta from here gunadan swami says talks of the great sadhu meaning we always should listen katha varta of satpurus and the vato or we can say discourses of the great purus they are like the vaccines each words has a capacity to destroy 
like thousands and thousands pounds of our sins. This is what the power of great Purus words. And that is why it works within. When we listen from outside, it works within, within our heart. We have many times watched the scene or videos or movies not suitable to any duty of God. We have, you have listened many words which is not suitable to the duty of Bhagwan. You have many times spoke some words, bad words, or you have uh, eat some food which is not suitable to any devotees. In this way, you have engaged all of your senses in some such a way that which is not uh, suitable to any devotees. And those everything like those all kind of these things is like a kusang. In other term, we can say that's the virus. And everything, those things enter our body, enter to our heart, and they infect her from inside. And day by day, if we not cleanse those things, if we will not fight with those bad things, meaning those virus, then we'll definitely lost our life in the satsang. And how to remove or how to fight with this uh, kusang, meaning this virus. And we do not have any kind of spiritual strength from within without this listening kathavarta. Whether we read the scriptures or not, that doesn't matter because sometimes we cannot understand what is written in the scriptures. But still we should read and listen the scriptures. But more important thing is to listen Kathavarta. Why? Because Sadpurus is new about our heart. He not speaking to us by watching our physical body. The Sadpurus always teach us, they preach us, and even whatever they say to us, they always look at our heart. What is inside our heart? What kind of disease we have? Disease meaning what kind of kusang in our heart? And they always attack, not to us, not to our uh, respect or something, but they always try to attack on the kusang which is reside in our heart. They wanted to make our heart pure so that one can reside in the heart. And with this divine and uh, omniscient mission, they always work day and night. But it is our gafalpan, or we can say it is our laziness that we cannot listen to the Kathavarta. So we must listen to the Kathavarta, even though we cannot understand anything from the Kathavartas, still we should listen it because those words go inside our heart through the, our ears, then those words will work inside and one day we will be able to understand whatever we listen from the satsang. So this is the method, meaning this is how kathavartas work from inside, meaning in the beginning we cannot understand anything in the satsang. But as we gradually try to listen, try to understand kathavartas and finally after some time we will naturally uh, understood something from the Kathavartas. And after some years passed in the satsang while listening Kathavartas, then we will definitely be able to understand fully whatever, uh, whatever we listen from the Kathavarta. And here in the case of Muktanan Swami and uh, Muktanan Swami's Kathas and Sriji Maharaj Vato, uh, just as uh, the duties of Nadia, they experience the difference, vast difference in their understanding. In the uh, Gunajitana Swami says here, like as one is become addicted to Kathavarta, meaning as one practice to listen Kathavarta from the great Purus, great Sadhu, then definitely his impurities from his heart removed and 
uh, as everything meaning uh, his heart become pure then definitely bhagwan's word can be understood this is the mechanism of kathavartha and that is why we sh- must be addicted to listen kathavartha this is the only mechanism and this is the only vaccine we have to remain aloof from the covid meaning a kind of kusang which is in the satsang which is outside from the satsang and which is uh, the kusang from within meaning our own some bad habits and bad natures that's also a kind of kusang so next nothing to say more because many times from the scriptures many times from the discourses we have listened this topic like we must to uh, we must listen kathavartha we have to be addicted to listening kathavartha we have to take a niyam and we have to like listen kathavartha every day not once in a week or twice in a week or something but we have to listen kathavartha every day just as we are taking food every day to get strength physical strength we are uh, eating food and drinking water and some other fluids in the same way we have to listen kathavartha as a part of our daily diet our spiritual diet just as we are eating many different things and many times just as we are taking uh, in the morning breakfast after that we take lunch in the noon then after we are t- uh, taking uh, we are eating some snacks at four around and then finally at dinner time we also eat too much food and in between all those time the whole day we are drinking too much water as well as some juice and the other liquids other drinks so in the same way just as in the morning we are doing puja then after we are doing mansi puja at lunch time and also at 3:30 or 4 we are waking maharaj in the mansi puja and also doing aarti and something at night uh um, meaning in evening and something but along with these things we have to listen kathavartha as a part of our spiritual diet and if we become cautious just as we are uh become very afraid of not getting any symptoms of covid-19 in the same way if we remain cautious not to enter any kind of kusang not to let enter any kind of kusang in inside our heart then we'll definitely remain safe and whether we have any kind of kusang inside or not that doesn't matter whether we are infected with the covid that doesn't matter but we must get vaccine in the form of kathavartha and this vaccine is given every day not once in the physical life we have to take vaccines one dose or two dose that's it but in the spiritual world we have to take this vaccine in the form of kathavartha every day and if we get this vaccine in the form of kathavartha then we will definitely remain healthy and happy in the satsang fellowship so i wish everyone should get vaccine and remain healthy and happy in the satsang by listening kathavartha by saying this my humble jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharajani jai shri patim shri dharam sarva deveshwaram bhakti dar matmajam vasudevam harim madavam keshavam kamadam karanam swami narayanam nilakandham bhaje shri ganeshyam maharajani jai